in this video i will show how to use order by and group by clause in sql so for that also we will be using the uh, table employee first of all let me query the table so that we can see the schema of the table select star from employee table and use the star from table. now executed it so we have got the table with the same schema as employee employee name department name and salary so uh, now why group by and order by clause so the group by clause statement uh, we use when we want to group the rows which has the same values into certain summary rows like if we want to calculate the sum minimum maximum or of or average of sum dimensions and then if we want to group the results based on the values in the dimension that time we'll be using the group by clause so uh, dimensions are basically uh, if we come if we come to this employee table employee name department name employee id these are multiple dimensions then uh, why order by clause the order by keyword is used when we want to sort the result into ascending or descending order see it can be based on uh, numerical values or it can be even be based on alphabetical uh, which means uh, it can be based on either the columns can be numeric columns or either the columns can be based on characters so we can order the result based on both results into ascending and descending order based on uh, any of the columns so that is why we are using order by clause now let us try to implement and see what the results will look like now see we have already curated the data now let us uh, implement the order by clause and see what will happen to this result if i apply some order by clause to the same query here we have the table queried now if i want to display the result based on descending order of the salary the same result the only change is that i wanted to display the result based on descending order of the salary which means the highest va value in the salary column will be coming at the top uh, let me see how i will implement the same select start from employee order by use the order by using by using the order by clause and after that i'm putting salary then i'm using one more keyword that is desc which means salary will be sorted based on the descending order the entire table will be sorted based on descending order now let me run the two queries and see what the result will look like see now we have got the two results this result corresponds to this query the first query and the second result this result corresponds to the second query with the order by clause with uh, salary in descending order now if we compare the two result we can see that this table uh, there is no such operation like sorting has happened but if we come to the second table we can see that the ta entire table has been sorted based on the descending salary see if we see here the highest salary which is 11000 is at the top then the second most highest value then the value goes on reduces now if we want to get the result in the ascending order what we will do is instead of this desc we will put asc during that time we will get the result in ascending order now if we see the result we have the result in ascending order which means salary with the least value will be coming at the top then 
salary will go on increase if we move down to the table and the last row will have the highest salary now let me move on to group by in order to implement group by mostly group by is implemented along with certain aggregation functions because uh, we group the values in certain dimensions and corresponding to that we create some summary values that is what normally in the case of group by it's happening so uh, what we are going to find here is we are going to count the number of employees i'm framing a question here that is count the number of employees from each department so this is the question so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of employees from each department so let me start writing the query not star sorry yeah department now I have to use the aggregation function count what I have to count is I have to count the number of employees so I will use the column employee underscore name see I can either use employee underscore name or I can use employee underscore ID also because these two will be mostly unique then as employee count then from employee table now we have wrote a query let me try running this query and see what will happen see we have got an error which says that column employee dot department dept underscore name is invalid in the select list because it is not contained in either an aggregate function or the group by clause so what we have to uh, do to make it correct is after this from employee we have to insert a group by clause group by department name because the result is aggregated aggregated based on or summarized based on the department name now let us try running this query now we have got the correct result which means each of the department is having the em uh, employee count as the corresponding values admin is having four employees finance is having four employees HR with six employees and IT with ten employees now I'm going to use order by along with group by so here the requirement will be I wanted to sort the employee count in descending order which means the department with the highest number of employees should come at the top that time what i will do is after the group by i will put an order by then what i will do is count order by count of employee underscore name in descending now let me run this query and see if the result is getting sorted yes now the result is sorted based on the count of employees in each department that in descending order so we have the employee with the uh, sorry so we have the department with the highest number of employees at the top and the second row is the second largest one third row is the third largest one and it goes on like that so this is how we use order by and group by clause in sql thank you